This is an explain everything presentation about Uranus or Uranus, as some people like to call it. I'm going to call it Uranus, though, for this explain everything presentation. And I'm going to give you more information about these ten facts listed on the poster. That's, you know, on the poster, obviously. So, let's get to it. The first one that I chose is Uranus is the coldest planet in the solar system. Now, it's the seventh planet from the sun. So, that automatically, the distance, just, it makes it way colder than, let's say, the Earth. You know. And, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, pretty cold already, but... For some reason, it gives off le less heat than it absorbs from the sun, which is weird. But for an unknown reason, the core in Uranus, unlike every other big planet in the solar system, it's cooled down. And I don't really think anyone knows why. So that's, that's kind of weird. So the second fact here is Uranus is turned on its side. Now, of course, all planets have a tilted axis, even a little bit. Earth is 23.5 degrees tilted. But Uranus is different, way different from the others. Another strange fact. It's actually 99 degrees tilted, which means that it's rotating on its side. Every other planet in the solar system looks like it's like a spinning top, you know? But this looks, it looks just really weird, honestly. Next interesting fact here, summer on Uranus lasts 42 years, and that's, that's because of its unique tilt. Even though a day is only 17 hours, it's not equal to an Earth year or Earth day or an Earth month or anything like that. Because an Earth day is 24 hours, but an Earth day on Uranus is 17 hours, so... One Earth year is weird. It's weird because one Earth year is 84 years on Uranus. Which basically means that in the summertime, if you were standing on the North Pole, you would get 42 years of sunlight, just complete sunlight, day and night on Earth would be just complete sunlight. And then after those 42 years, guess what you would have? 42 years of darkness. So that's, it's pretty crazy. So if you're standing on either pole, that's how extreme the sunlight and the darkness would be. So that's just because of how the sun shines on Uranus, the distance, and the tilt, like I all said before. I find this fact to be really interesting. And this fact, as you can see, is Uranus is the second least dense planet. And in case you're curious, the least dense planet is Saturn. So... Least dense, the second least dense planet means that Uranus would sink in water if you could find an ocean big enough for Uranus, which I don't even know if that's possible. So even though Uranus is almost 15 times as big as Earth, which is absolutely huge, you would only experience 89% of the gravity you would experience on Earth because of the density. Now, it's okay if you don't know what exactly that means. Uh, you know, basically, it's kinda hard to explain, but 89, you only, you would experience a little bit less gravity, it wouldn't be too noticeable, but you would probably notice it. Now this fact isn't very obvious, Uranus has rings, yeah, believe it or not. As you can see in the picture above me, and you've seen for the last four facts that I've done, obviously Saturn does, I mean, they're made of bright ice, so you can see them much easier, but Uranuses are much darker. I mean, yeah, they are. Even though they look pretty bright in that picture of Rob me, they're much darker than Saturn's. And they're actually only a few mi uh, miles long, which suggests, as most scientists think, that they're actually pretty young. Well, not young as in eight or nine years old, but young, way younger than Saturn's. So, also, many people think that they weren't formed with the planet if you understand what that means. The next fact on the list is Uranus's stormy surface can only be seen through infrared light. 
Um, which is kind of weird because, you know, when you look at Jupiter or, you know, Saturn, you can see there it's a stormy planet, a cloudy planet. But the cloud patterns or just the storms on Uranus can only be seen through infrared light. And no one even knew about this until the 90s when the telescopes got a little bit more advanced. And, I mean, some clouds on Uranus only last for a few hours, but others, scientists say, have been there since the Voyager, which is a space probe sent by NASA. Uh, they, those clouds have been there since 1986. That's when the Voyager flew by Uranus. So that's one interesting fact right there. So the next interesting fact here is that Uranus has, actually has 27 moons. But all of them are really small and, like, lightweight compared to other moons. At least in mass and diameter. Um, all of them, actually, when you add up their mass, would account for less than half the, mo the weight, or rather mass, of Triton, which is Neptune's largest moon. And Uranus's largest moon is actually only half the size and diameter of Earth's moon. So that's also kind of weird. The next interesting fact here is that Uranus was actually the first planet discovered by telescope and the first planet discovered in the modern age, which is like the 1600s till now. Um, it was first recorded in 1690 by a man named John Flamsteed, but he, w he considered it part, uh, part of the const uh, constellation. But in 1781, Sir, a guy named Sir William Herschel uh, saw Uranus and then finally realized it was actually a planet um, because the telescopes were more advanced than, than they were 90 years before that. Um, and when he presented it to the astronomy community, he, they accepted it and they decided the planet would be named Uranus, even though Herschel wanted it to be called, to be called George's planet um, after... Uh, uh, English king. The nice next interesting fact here that is that Uranus can be seen with just the naked eye or the unaided eye, which basically means no using the telescope or anything like that. It's actually just within the brightness scale that the human eye can actually perceive, which is a scale, obviously, that you know scientists have recognized and developed over the years. So don't really worry about that part, but... To see Uranus in the night sky, you have to have extremely dark so skies and know exactly where to look for it. That's how you can find it. But Uranus can also be seen just with binoculars if you have brighter skies as well. Final interesting fact on our list is that Uranus has only been visited once. And it's actually not been visited. I mean, Voyager 2, the spacecraft that passed Uranus in 1986 was 81,000 kilometers from the planet, which is a huge distance, like, just huge. But it took thousands of pictures of Uranus and its moons. The only problem is, is that no other spa spacecraft have been sent there. So we get the pictures from 1986, and we don't get any new modern ones. And there aren't any more planets to send anymore, so... I guess we're just going to have to deal with what we have, even though there are thousands of pictures. So, so that's good, you know. That's good. Well, that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I actually did enjoy recording this. I had a lot of fun uh, finding out these facts. And all of them I actually didn't know until uh, finding out about them while researching for my project. I'm sorry I only used one image, but, you know... It makes it a little bit quicker than looking up ten separate images, plus one for this slide. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, be sure to check out my uh, other classmates' projects as well. And goodbye.